Hey there YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Uh, quick little video today on how to enable two-factor authentication on your Office 365 account. So if we move over to our uh, web browser here, you log into office.com with your global admin account and you will see this admin button. We need to click that. It's going to open up another tab and we'll go over to users, active users, um, and this uh, you'll see this multi-factor authentication button here. We'll click that and it's going to open a third tab. Now, I'm the only user in here, so we're going to click me. Um, you can see I have credentials in here or uh, contact information in here. If you didn't, uh, you'd want to you know, make sure you, you'd want to require the user to provide their contact methods again. Uh, that way, you know, you can get a uh, text message uh, for your two-factor code. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click enable. Uh, additionally, you can manually put the information in if you click this link here uh, for the user and it'll verify it. So mine sends a text message to my phone. Um, so we'll go ahead and click enable multi-factor authentication and you can see that it's been successful. So go ahead and click close. And now I should be able to sign out here and when I go to log in, okay, let's open up a new incognito window. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. We will open up just a regular window here because my last pass won't won't work with that. So, so we'll go ahead and click that. Sign in. We will enter our password and it should tell you, here we go. Yep. So now I'm going to get a text message on my phone here. There we go. We'll enter that code. It'll verify it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This is my personal computer, so that's fine. And now we have uh, just enabled two-factor authentication on Office 365. It's very easy to do. It gives you an added layer of security. Uh, it's great practice to get into, um, so I would encourage you to enable it for all your users. Um, it, it really does help out quite a bit. So hope you enjoyed this quick short video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If there's something you want to know, leave me a comment below, and uh, stay tuned for more IT-related videos.